Hey, what's up, guys? Karam's Roof is back. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but I've been took a break for a little bit because Dory is not coming out, but the rock right over there. So I had to, you know, get some days. And yeah, so some updates. Um, yeah, the blue hippo is actually out. The Watchman Gobi is missing. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's about one inch, and I really can't find him. But let's start from the left here. We got star polyps, uh, green star polyps. We got SPS, Monty. We have a lot of Montys. A hammer coral, AKA maybe frog spawn. Um, another Monty, Monty with green, oh, well not green. Uh, just, just, I guess star polyps. Cause I don't know what they are called actually. And then another SPS, um, Xenia. I just did action water change, so. See so, ya. Yeah. Um, right there we got a tricolor SPS. Well, that's one right there, and then there's another one right next to it. Got a Monty. Uh, you, Yuma, orange. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's original orange. There are a couple of heads right next to it. We got a watermelon SPS right there. We got some type of SPS um, that I got. And it was actually dying, it was bleached out. It looks like that one. See, I brought it back to life, but yeah. We got a peanut butter right there. Um, Chels. We got, that's the tri, tri color SPS. We got green uh, torch, which uh, which is technically, you know, green in the dark in, uh, at night. We got another Monty, 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 um, Zella's hammer. I'm pretty sure, so I got two of these. One's right there, that's a uh, rainbow hammer, and this one, I'm pretty sure it's just orange. I don't know yet. And then we got rose bubbles of anemone. We got two. SPS that I don't really know. Well, I do know, but I don't know how to pronounce the name. I got another tricolor. This, this one, this frags, these two frags came from this one. So, yeah. Another one right here. We got a big colony of SPS. Um, no, wait, no, not SPS. Great star polyps. Oh my god. Mushrooms. One more mushroom turning into a bounce, I'm pretty sure. And then we got chemistry. I'm pretty sure that's. Um, for fish flies, we have a yellow tang, two clowns, um, we got a bicolor dotty back, a blue hippo, tuna shrimp, and a goat. Now, I have a 75 gallons, it's four feet long, and why I have two tangs is first because one tang is actually 1.5 inches long, and the other one is about 2.5 inches long, and I am actually thinking of uh, upgrading, it's a four feet tank, so. It should do, it should do fine. In it. But yeah, um, let's hope we can find the the watching gobby. Now to my supplies, it'll be upstairs. I'll show you guys what I actually do before we actually go upstairs. Uh, shout out to Fuel. They are very, very, very good at everything. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a sec. They got magnesium. Their their supplements are very good. I feed my things. Um, omega 1, they got the fantastic. And there's my supplement, it's calcium, magnesium, and zinc which is not here in the food flavor. But there's my sump too. I'm making new one. I'll be talking more on the Let's go upstairs to my piece. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so there's not really that much lighting, and it's actually quiet right now. But um, there, I have two 20 long gallons. And this one was used to be a quarantine tank. I shut it down. I'll make another video. Why I don't really like quarantine tanks. They are good. Some people like it. Some people don't. But I just personally, eh, I don't know. Um, so before we actually start, um, I got a damsel like last week from, from my order. And it was mistaken. So I put it in this bucket with some air. And it's actually doing pretty well. It's in there. See. But yeah, um, I feed it twice a day, and it's, it's doing good. I water, I just did water change downstairs too, so I did a water change down here, up here. I mean, um, we got current US um, lights. They are about 18 inches long. Um, I got the controllers, everything, the pro timer. Uh, I got silicone here. I used it to mount something. I'll show you guys in a bit, but yeah, there's some clay for, for you know, um, frags and stuff like that, but I really don't use it either, just a little bit, 
Um, I got, I don't think you guys can see it. Oh wait, yes again. Heater, Hydro. Um, it's pretty good too, shout out to them. We got some sponges here. We got a lot of thick sponges and yeah. Um, we got my test kit right here. This is an old test kit that I used to use, but I am getting a new one from um, C Let's see. Um, I got a lot of pumps in here. This is manually pumps and stuff like that. Also, um, I have changed my soul, and now I actually go with Omega C. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, for the price, it's, it's pretty good. I I like it, and um, yeah, shout out to them too. They make great food, great everything, and they still top it with the sea, I mean sea salt. So they're pretty good. Um, I got two, two um, filters here. One's a Whisper, Tetra Whisper, 3060, and then I got a Fluval, I'm pretty sure that's a Fluval, um, for 70, right, for 70 gallons. And then yeah, you get just a lot of pumps here, it's all e electronics here, you know, just um, some water conditioners and stuff like that, um, and filter media. Anyways, um, right here is my, where my salt water station is, um, I got salt in there, right there. Let's see, salt, got it, this. and then I got, those are buckets, just Buckets, you know, and then I got a one, one and a half. Um, cup here. Anyways, um, let's go to my second stage. Well, second, you know, where I keep my stuff is. Hey guys, we're back, and this is my second station, or you know, where I keep my stuff. So before we start, this is mainly only like no electronics, no nothing, you know, just stuff. So. I got another 20 gallon here. I am gonna convert this into a, um, a 75 sump. So yeah, um, I use this to measure my my uh, salinity. But if you're a beginner, please, please, please pick up a refrometer. It will help you a lot. It's much better than this. So yeah, um, I got a clay box or clay. I don't know what pot box. Um. Anyways, um, I used to breed clownfish, I bred them successfully, and now I don't use it anymore. So yeah, I just put it in here. Maybe in the future, but... Uh, um, I got, um, Mysis, freeze-dried Mysis shrimp right here. And it's just, you know, food. Um, it's very good. See, Omega-1 is very, very, very good at making food. I, I feed my damsel too. These two things kinds and then we got some cleaning stuff this is for the pump downstairs and then we got some sponge we got tweezers we got toothbrushes to just you know clean stuff there's my salt that's empty just you know like it looks nice and we got uh, I don't know that used to be mine <laughs> I I used to have a fresh water tank so now I just have it right here we got a couple of nets PVC pipes for the quarantine tank Got a couple of mats, okay. and then we got magnesium right here. I just I don't know. I got it for free, so I just put it in there. And then we got some yeah pipes. I mean not pipes. Um tubes, you know, just for acclimation and boxes because I used to um, try to make my clownfish to host um, my tomato clownfish to host because my true no wait not true. My regular clownfish, they, the ones that are downstairs, I just bought the anemone and put it in there, and they just instantly hosted, like, 10 seconds later. And the tomato had a hard time because it was a canned pea anemone, something like that. So, it did host, and it was pretty successful. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, before we leave, um, tell me if this is a good idea. So, I've, I'm thinking about making a experiment with this small tank, it's a 5.5 gallons um, tank. And uh, my experiment is putting it outside with power head connected to my house and and uh, just, you know, try uh, using the sunlight or the sun for lights and see how like fast they grow, the corals. 
Anyways, guys, peace out. Have a great day. Make sure to like, subscribe for more information or, you know, new videos. And I'll be making new videos. Yeah, every day probably or every other day because I've been actually like working. So, not like working, working, but been like working on my tanks and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, if I do find that, um, watching Gelby, I will keep you guys updated. But peace out and uh, make sure to like, comment if you guys have any questions. Peace.